Today what we're going to do is we're going to finish up chapter 11. Um, and the section that we're going to look at is looking at areas of regular polygons. Now, there are several ways of doing this section. Um, this is one that's maybe a little bit more involved than what we've done in the past. Um, but I think it's a good section. It, it really stretches our growth with geometry. Um, and so what we're going to do is there's multiple ways of doing this, but I am going to go back to 45, 45, 90, and 30, 60, 90 triangles. And so a little bit of a review. If I have a triangle like this, and um, let's say this is 45 and this is 45 degrees, okay? Um, if you remember from special triangles, this side is x, this side is x, and this isosceles triangle, and this is x root 2. Um, the other triangle that we had um, with that looked like this, and this was 30, this was 60, um, and if you remember, the side opposite 30 is x, um, and then the side that is the uh, hypotenuse is 2x, and then this side is x root 3, okay? Um, so we're bringing back those special triangles. You can use trig. It will give you the same answer. Um, but I'm going to bring back those 30, 60, 90s, and 45, 45, 90s. I think it's a great overall review of what we've done in geometry. So let's talk a little bit about the areas of polygons. Remember that a regular polygon is an equilateral, equiangular figure. So what that means is that all the sides are congruent and all the angles are congruent. And then also remember that you can circumcise a circle around any regular polygon. Um, so if you remember, I can take an equilateral triangle and I can put a circle around it where all the vertices touch that circle. And that's really important. This works only for regular polygons. So if you look at those shapes, you're going to notice they're all regular polygons. Okay. Um, in each of these, there is a center of um, the circle. So if I were to look at this first one, here's the center of a circle. Look at this one, here's the center of the circle. Here's the center of the circle. And here's the center of the circle. So though each one of them has the center of a circle. Um, the radius is the distance from the center to the vertex. So an idea of a radius would be from here to here. That would be a radius here to here again where it touches the circle here to here, again, where the radius and the vertice touches the circle, and then from here, okay? And there's multiples. So in this example, there's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So that's the radius. What we're gonna look at today is a word that's called the apothem, okay? Um, and it's the perpendicular distance from the center to the side of the polygon. So an example of what that looks like, it's from here to there. And there's several of them. It's from here to here. It's from here to here. And it's from here to here. So you'll notice as opposed to the radius, it stops at the side of the polygon. Okay, that's called the apothem. And so to find the area of a regular polygon, what you do is you take one half A times P, where A is the apothem and P is the perimeter of the figure. So this is the formula um, that you will be writing down and that you will be following when you do these areas. So let's go ahead and let's take a look and see what this looks like. So again, A equals one-half AP. Area equals one-half. Now you're going to notice on this one, the distance from here to here, this forms a right angle. That's the apothem. That's your A. Okay? So I'm going to put in four. And then this five is the length of one of those sides. So to find the perimeter... I'm going to take 5 times 5. That's going to give me the perimeter part of it. 
So then what you do is you just take your whole calculator and you multiply it through and you get 50 centimeters squared. Again, this is your apothem and these make your perimeter. So this is your perimeter. Try to color code it to make it a little bit easier. And that's your apothem. Right? So that one's pretty easy, not too difficult. Let's go ahead and let's look at this one. Um, so on this one, again, I'm going to grab A equals 1 half AP. And it's a regular decagon. So if you, again, we're grabbing to old knowledge, a decagon has 10 sides. So knowing that information is going to help us. And they give us the apothem and they give us the length of the side. So A equals, and if you need to draw a picture to help you with it, that's fine. You do not have to. A equals one half the apothem, which they gave me, which is 5.4. And then the perimeter, I'm going to change the color just to make it a little bit easier. I've got 10 sides, and I'm going to multiply that by 3 because it's 3 inches per side. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to take my calculator, um, and I'm going to bring it through, and I end up with 81 inches squared. And again, that was pretty basic. That was pretty, pretty easy. Um, this is where it becomes a little bit more complicated. You're going to notice that they didn't give me the apothem. So this thing takes a whole new spin, and you need to do it in steps. So the first thing that we need to realize is that it's a six-sided figure, so it's a hexagon. And we also need to realize that if this is the center of the hexagon, um, these are the radiuses. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 360 degrees, which is the circle, how many degrees, and I'm going to divide it by six because there are six circles, or six triangles, and I end up with 60 degrees. So what that establishes is this right here is 60 degrees. Okay? What I need to find and I don't have is this right here because this is the apothem. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 60 degrees. I'm going to divide it by 2, which gives me 30. So this right here is 30 degrees, and I am looking at this triangle right there. So again, what I'm trying to find is A equals 1 half AP. I need to find that blue apothem. That's my problem. So what we're going to do on that is I'm going to pull that triangle out. like this. And this is 30 and this is 60. Okay. Now I know that this whole base right here, this right here is 18. And I want just that little piece right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go, okay, I'm going to go 18 divided by 2, which is 9. And I know this is 9. And in my 30s, 60s, 90s, and if you remember this at all, we always went inside and we go, this is x, this is 2x, this is x root 3. So if that bottom is 9, um, then I know that this is 2 times 9, which is 18, and this is 9 root 3. Um, and really what I need is this, because this is my apothem. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this measurement as my apothem, and I'm going to bring it back to this formula that I had over here. And I'm going to go, okay, A equals 1 half my apothem, which I said was 9 root 3. And then my perimeter would take 18, and I would multiply that by 6 because there's 6 sides. If I take my calculator, I end up with 841.8, and it's centimeters squared. 
Okay. Now, you could um, do trig. You definitely could do that with the 30 degrees. You know, you could do opposite over adjacent, um, which is um, tangent, and you could get the same answer. I'm just bringing out the um, special triangles. All right, so that's how you do that one. Now let's keep going. We've got a smattering of different ones. Um, here's this one. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this, and you're going to notice that this is like my radius. And again, I need to find this right here. So again, if I look at all my radiuses, okay, I take 360 degrees, I'm going to divide it by 3, and that ends up giving me um, 120 degrees. So this whole thing right there is 120 degrees. And I'm going to take 120, and I'm going to divide it by 2, and that gives me 60. So this little triangle is 60 degrees, and I'm looking at just this triangle right here to try to find my A. Okay, so again, what I'm going to do is take the area of this figure is 1 half the apothem times the perimeter. Area equals 1 half, and I need to find that. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this over and I'm going to create that triangle. So, and I find making that triangle and bringing it out is a lot easier than trying to um, do it within that figure. Um, so what this gives me is they gave me this, was, which is the radius, which is 10. And again, within that triangle, this is x, this is 2x, and this is x root 3. Okay, so if this is 10, which is 2x, 2x equals 10, so x equals 5. So this gives me 5, and this gives me 5 root 3. And again, what I'm trying to look at is I'm trying to look at this piece right here because this is my apothem. So now for my apothem, I can put in 5. What I need to do now is to find the perimeter. Now, the perimeter, if that is 5, what I need to do is I need to look at this right here because this right here, right there, that is this piece right here. And remember, I need two of them to find the perimeter. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this and I'm going to bring it over a little bit. And I'm going to take the 5 root 3. I'm going to multiply it by 2 because I need two of those. There's two of those. And then I'm going to multiply it by 3 because there's three sides to the triangle. Okay, so area ends up giving me, when I multiply it all together, 129.9, and that's centimeters squared. Now, the reason why I need two of the 5 root 3s, the reason why I need that is if you look really closely at this triangle, this is 5 root 3 right here. This is the other 5 root 3. So this is one of them. This is the other one, and that's why I need two of those. So then that makes the whole side of the triangle, and then I multiply it by 3 because there's three sides. All right, let's go on, and let's look at this. Um, again, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, okay, how many radiuses do I have? I have one, two, three, four of them. So 360, and you always take 360. I've got four triangles, divide by four, so it's 90, so it's a 90 degree angle. Um, and then what I need to do is I need to cut that in half. And again, you always cut it in half because that's my A. So I'm going to take 90 and I'm going to divide it by two, and that gives me 45. So this right here is 45 degrees. This is also 45 degrees. So I'm going to come off to the side, and I'm going to go, okay, my area equals 1 half AP. Area equals 1 half, and I need to find that apothem. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out this triangle. It's a 45, 45, 90. And if you remember from what we've done before, this is x, this is x, this is x root 2. Okay, and then I've got to look at what did they give me. Well, they gave me the hypotenuse, which is 10. So this right here is 10. So what I need to do, if you remember, I need to rationalize. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go x root 2 equals 10. I'm going to divide both sides by root 2. X gives me 10 over root 2. I'm going to multiply by root 2 over root 2 because you remember we don't like um, the square root in the denominator. So I end up with X equaling 10 root 2 over 2. And then 10 divided by 2 is 5 root 2. So what I'm going to do then is my apothem. Um, is 5 root 2. Okay, and then to find my perimeter, um, what I'm going to do um, is this is also 5 root 2. And again, that's the one side of the square, and so I'm going to take two of those. So I'm going to go 2 times 5 root 2, and there are four sides to the square. So area is going to give me, if I go ahead and multiply that through, I end up with 200 meters squared. And again, I'm going to take a look at this. Again, this is one side of that triangle. So if I bring it over here, this is the side that I'm referring to. I need another side there to make the whole side of that square. So you're going to notice that's why I go 2 times 5 root 2. All right, let's go ahead and let's look at this one. If you feel you got it, you can stop watching, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a couple more of these. Um, this is the radius, this is the radius, and this is the radius. So again, I've got 360. I'm going to divide it by 4 because there's 4 triangles, and that gives me 90. So I'm dealing with a 90-degree angle there. Okay, and then I'm going to take 90, and I'm going to divide it by 2, and that gives me 45. So this brings down my apothem like that. And this ends up being 45, and this ends up being 45. So again, um, A equals 1 half AP. I'm going to take that triangle, and I'm going to bring it out. I just like to bring it out because I think it's easier, it's bigger, and I can write more things in it. Okay, and then they gave me the radius being 12, so this is 12. Um, so again, this is x, this is x, this is x root 2. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to rationalize that. So x root 2 equals 12. Divide both sides by root 2 x equals 12 over root 2. I don't like the diameter to be a square root, so root 2 over root 2. x gives me 12 root 2 over 2. So x equals 6 over root 2, because 12 divided by 2 is 6. So that ends up giving me my apothem. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to go, okay, A equals 1 half AP, area equals 1 half. My apothem on this one is um, 6 root 2, and then my uh, perimeter, again, this is also um, 6 root 2, and there's two of them, 6 root 2 times 2, and this figure has 4 sides. So times 4, A ends up giving me 288, and that would be inches squared. And the more you do these, the better you're going to get at them. Um, 
again, you can use trigonometry. You do, definitely can do it. Sokotoa. Um, I just think it's really good to bring back these um, special right triangles at the end of the year. Um, let's look at this one. Again, if you feel confident in it, you can stop the video. Um, but I'm going to look at this one. Um, again, I've got to look at my radiuses. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, because it is a hexagon. So 360 degrees divided by six gives me 60. So this is 60 degrees. And then I'm going to take 60 and I'm going to divide it by two. So I get 30 degrees. So I'm taking this figure um, and I'm cutting it like this. And this ends up being 30 degrees. Okay. Um, so again, my area equals one half AP and I'm trying to find the, the apothem. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to draw my triangle. This now is 30. This is 60, this is 90. Um, and then if you remember, this is X because it's opposite the 30. This is 2X, um, this is X root three. Okay, they gave me 22, um, which is right here. This is my radius, so this is also my radius. So this gives me 22. Okay, so 2X equals 22, X equals 11. So this equals 11, and this equals 11 root 3. And that's my apothem. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to go A equals 1 half. My apothem is 11 root 3. And then what I'm going to do is my perimeter. So I know that um, this piece right here now is this piece right here, um, and there's two of them. So x is 11, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go 11 times two to get that whole bottom, and then there's six sides. So area ends up giving me 1,257.5, and that's meters squared. And please make sure you put that in your calculator so you remember how to do square roots and you remember how to do some of that. All right, the last one I'm gonna do today, again, is a triangle, center of my circle, imaginary circle there. Bring out my radiuses, okay? So I'm gonna take 360, I'm gonna divide it by three, which is 120, so this whole thing is 120. And then 120 divided by two is 60. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna bring this down, make it a right angle, this is 60, and the whole base here is 16, and they gave it to me because of that. So that's gonna be a little bit easier when I'm trying to find the perimeter. So again, perimeter equals 1 half AP, and again, that's almost like a recipe. It really helps you try to look at what you're trying to find. Um, and I'm gonna take that triangle. Again, the triangle that I'm looking at right here is this right here. Okay, um, and so this is 60, this is 30, this is 90, okay? Um, this is x, this is 2x, this is x root three. And the 16 that they gave me, that is my radius right here. Oh, I'm sorry, it is not, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, this is an x. It's the bottom of this, and so what I gotta do is I've gotta take 16, I gotta divide it by two, because I only want half of it. I want this piece right here, um, and that gives me eight. So this is eight. So I've got some work to do. I've got x root three equals eight, divide by root three, divide by root three, x, equals eight over root three. I'm gonna multiply root three over root three. So X gives me eight root three over three. Okay, so I'm rationalizing again. So my X right here is eight root three over three. So I'm gonna come back, go over two, 
my recipe, A equals 1 half. My apothem is 8 root 3 over 3. And my perimeter is going to be a little bit easier because remember that whole side is 16. So I'm going to take 16 and I'm going to multiply it by 3. So then if you take your calculator, you end up with 110.9 and it's feet squared. And that is the apothem. Um, again, you can use trig. Um, I know that this is a difficult section. Um, it's the hardest maybe of the whole entire year because there's a lot of things that are going into it and cutting things. Um, if you need extra help, please reach out. Let me know. I'd be happy to do more of these with you.